Hello everybody and welcome back to PlayStation Doom Reloaded. Today we're playing through Map 3 Close Quarters. Immediately we're going to have four shotgunners and two imps to deal with on either side of the room. And you have to be careful here because these guys can hide in here. These rooms dip back a bit so there's enough room for them to sort of hide back here. So make sure you kill them guys. So on this map we have 55 enemies and three secrets to find. Including the secret exit. The first of the six out of both campaigns. Let's kill this guy and then let's work our way back. Eventually we will loop through that door there, but we can save that for later. I come through this way, where we have a couple of zombie men, I think a shotgun, a two reds, and a pinky demon. And this is the real exit, so this is if, um, if you're just casually going through the levels, that's the real exit. On your left, you're going to have Inspector, do not forget about him. Kind of hard to see in this light. There's also an imp in here. There will be a zombie man and an imp below us, but sometimes they go the other way and um, alert a few more enemies, but luckily this time they didn't. Yeah, there's a pinky a shotgun and a demon in here. Let's kill this chain gunner in here. And now we're going to go this way, which is the path to get the yellow key, as if he was going for the regular exit. There's nothing in here but a health bonus, and we're going to come through here. We don't have to be too quick here. You're not in this bit for too long, in the acid area. Let's kill these guys. Let's switch to the chain gun, because we have a chain gun on the back of this room. There's also a shotgun and zombie men on either end. But these moves. kill these guys real quick. So when we grab the other key we're going to get a new trap. We're going to use these barrels here because we have enemies on either end. Oh, didn't realise you're still alive. So you want to be careful here. You want to make sure that these guys at the back here actually work their way to the front. There's, there's a chance that these zombie men here like there will actually work their way around the corner and you could easily miss a kill on this level. But I'm pretty sure we got everybody. So if you come across this little step here you can get to go outside here for the first secret. And we get finally get the backpack. Okay so now you'd be pretty much done if you was going for the regular exit. You could just pretty much go to the exit room now. We need to go around it anyway because there's a Pinky Demon waiting for us. Take him out, and now we can go for the secret exit. So as we turn this way, also let's try walk up here and grab this box of shells that's just around the corner. And now we can go this way with the chain gun was. And we get the chainsaw if you want to use that. But you want to kill these guys down here first. But I didn't get anybody. There's um, two zombie men, a shotgun, and a spectre. Okay, so the secret exit's out here. And we're going to need to come here at least twice. So first of all, you can just sort of jump across here. A little tricky to do if you use the controller, but not actually that bad. So yeah, there's the secret exit. We cannot get into it yet until we've pressed the switch. We need the blue key for that, which is conveniently right here as well. You also get the rocket launcher. Now we can go this way and loop our way back to that room I mentioned some time ago. So if you press this door here, this guy will show up behind you. Let's just be ready for him. Now we just come back down here, press the switch, and we should be done with the level now. It should only just be the last secret to get him. Yeah. We've killed everybody. And the final secret is in the exit room. So again we have to obviously come back this way and we have to be careful here not to fall off. So it's kind of tricky on the controller, but not that bad. Bam, that's map three. So the only thing worth mentioning here is probably to remember to check that acid area where the yellow key is to make sure that all the enemies are locked their way to the front. And apart from that, this level is not going to be too tricky to find the secrets and it's not going to be too difficult in terms of the enemies either. 
it might be a little bit difficult to find the secret exit but if you didn't know how to do it that's how you do it there I don't think it's that hard to find but just in case you didn't know that's how you get to that now we can move on to the first secret level base to glory we get to learn a little bit about the nightmare specters here so a little bit of a spoiler here I shouldn't I'll say it now anyway giving a bit of an early spoiler because this nightmare specter is not the only nightmare enemy in PlayStation Doom Reloaded now, if you've played Fall of Triton, or if you've read anything about some of the information I've put on various websites I do in world, you know what the other Nightmare enemy is, it's a fairly obvious one. But, I probably won't mention it again until when we actually see them, because that's a little while yet to go. And I'm going to try and keep surprises until the level you meet them, but there's a little bit of a hint that Nightmare Spectres are not the only Nightmare enemy type you'd see in PlayStation Doom Reloaded. So yeah, that was map 3, we get to finally move on to the first secret level, Base to Glory, and I'll get to that in the next episode. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.